Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be talking about what I eat in a day and my exercise routine because so many of you have asked me to do this video over the last couple of weeks and I'm guessing I know why. Um, you know, it's right after the first of the year and this is always a time when people want to get back into dieting or working out um, after the holidays when we all kind of let that stuff go um, and then we realize like, oh, wait a minute, I could be in better shape. Oh, I could lose a few pounds. And it's a great time of year to do that. Definitely encourage people to take stock of what they're doing, diet and exercise wise, what didn't work for them over the holidays and how to improve it going forward into the new year. So like many of you, I definitely let some things go over the holidays. I didn't have time to work out as much as I normally do. My normal what I eat in a day and exercise routine is, um, you know, pretty standard. I've done videos on it in the past. It doesn't change a lot from year to year. I've been working out three to four times a week since I was in my 20s, maybe earlier. Um, and I rarely let it slip, except for a couple of times a year. Generally around the holidays, I will let it slip and not do as many workouts. This year, I quit working out completely. <laughs> I just didn't have the time for it. So I just, didn't do it. I haven't worked out for like a month and a half until this week. And same thing with the eating over the holidays. How many of you guys ate all the extra Christmas cookies, all the extra like cakes and I don't know what else was around. We, we're a big Swedish meatball family. So, and I make them. So I was eating Swedish meatballs and cookies and all kinds of yummy stuff. Maybe having a little more alcohol anyway. Yes, uh, packed a couple of extra pounds on, which in my case wasn't necessarily a bad thing, but they definitely went to where I don't want them to be, and they didn't go where I do want them to be. Since um, the holidays ended, I have been so sluggish feeling, and I think it's because I stopped working out, and so I'm really happy that I'm getting back into it, and I hope that you will get back into it too, or get back into it with me. Um, if you do want to work out with me, I have done a couple of little workout videos here. Again, not an expert, but... Um, I tried to do a few because people asked for them. So if you want to do them, they're like little 20 minute workouts and they could help you get back into shape with a friendly face that you're familiar with. So I'll link those up here, up here, whichever side it's on, and also in the info box below the video. So anyway, as far as my eating plan goes, I don't really diet per se. Um, it's not that I was genetically gifted with a naturally slim body. Um, I have been on like a 35 year um, eating healthy plan ever since I got my first borderline high cholesterol blood work in back in my 20s. So I started cutting out the cholesterol, um, you know, the bad foods then, bacon, cheese, um, fried foods, french fries, beef, a lot of that kind of stuff. I did what was recommended then and it actually helped. I lowered my cholesterol by 30 points and I increased the cardio in my workouts and that has kept everything right where I want it for over the last 35 years, my cholesterol still isn't high and I don't need to go on the meds and I think that is awesome. And I'm in good shape and I'm fairly, you know, finished for someone my age, definitely. And that's because of this 35 years of being diligent and doing the work that it took to keep my cholesterol down. So the main things that I do to keep my cholesterol in check is that number one, I've cut out saturated fats from my diet, swapped over from bad fats to good fats. So I have more olive oil in my diet, more like avocados, more fish. I've also switched from a lot of processed foods to cooking a lot more at home, making my own food, and also trying to stay more into the brown foods and less into the white foods. So if I'm doing rice, I'll do brown rice or wild rice. If I'm doing pasta, I'll do wheat pasta. If I'm doing bread, it will have wheat or grains in it. So I don't really do any of the like popular um, eating plans or diets. Like I don't do keto. I don't do intermittent mm -hmm. fasting. I don't do any of that stuff. I'm more of a everything in moderation kind of person. So let me just first give you my little disclaimer that I always do on these, which is that I'm not a doctor, a nutritionist, a workout expert of any kind. I'm just a regular person like you who is trying to do the best they can, stay in shape, look as good as they can as they get older. Anyway, I thought I would just walk you through my day of what I eat in a day, starting with breakfast, going through dinner, explain my exercise routine to you. I can tell you up front that I am super boring. I have a very like utilitarian relationship with food. So I don't think of food so much as like pleasure or comfort 
or you know anything like that. I mainly think of it as fuel and ways to help my body work better because as I get older, I do want to be fit. I do want to be able to do what I want to do. You know, I still paddleboard, I still bike ride, I still do massive gardening. You know, if my kids want me to do whatever with them, I want to just be able to be like, yep, let's go do it, and away we go. So I don't want my body to be a hindrance to that, and so I've worked really hard over the last 35 years to make that happen and you know I'm 58 and I am doing pretty well for myself so again this is what worked for me so let's start in the morning with my boring breakfast that I eat every day of my life <laughs> I eat the same thing for breakfast every day I eat the same thing for lunch every day I get my variety in my dinner that's enough variety for me that's enough meal planning for one day for me and so it keeps it easy it keeps it simple every single day I have a cup of black tea in the morning I put in about a teaspoon and a half of sugar I also put in a scoop of my vital proteins collagen peptides I eat a bowl of cereal so I eat these nature's path cereals either the heritage flakes or the multi-grain flakes the cereal isn't just the cereal though I dump the whole box of it into a big bowl when I open a new box and I add in raw almonds, raw pumpkin seeds, raw sunflower seeds, and also a bag of peanut butter granola, all of these things are the lowest um, sugar content of a cereal that I can find or of a granola that I can find. And something new this year is that I switched over to oat milk. I was doing almond milk or skim milk before. I just like oat milk a lot better, so I put that in my cereal and I also put it in my tea. I also have a small glass of OJ with my supplements that I take in the morning. I take about five supplements in the morning. I take about another five in the afternoon. And I have a small glass of vitamin D orange juice along with all of my supplements. If you're interested in the supplements I take in the morning with my OJ, I can link that video for you. Then between breakfast and lunch, I will usually work out three days a week, sometimes four days a week. A workout can be anything from going upstairs and doing a DVD workout. I know, who has a DVD player anymore? <laughs> last person on the planet that has one. I do these ancient workouts from like the 90s and they work for me. I am thinking of getting an exercise bike, either a Peloton or an Echelon this year, so I may do that because sometimes I just want to do like 20 minutes of cardio. But my workout routines that I do are generally an hour long. It's a full body workout. It includes cardio as well as weight training and they will also have some things like balance and of course abs, some stretching, so it's like a complete total body workout giving you everything that you need in one hour. I like it short and I like it compact like that. Other things that I do are I paddleboard. I used to bike ride. Of course it's winter. I don't really do that so much and that's why I want the Peloton so I can bike ride in the winter. Um, you know I'm a big gardener when I garden like I have an acre of land. It's a workout. You know heavy lifting and all that kind of stuff. Um, what else? Take my dogs for walks. Then um, I don't really eat anything during that time. I'll have a glass of water with my workout. Then for lunch, I eat just about the same thing every day for lunch. I will have a salad. The um, lettuce part of it is usually a mixture of romaine and baby kale. And I put in there generally whatever fresh vegetables I have. If I have tomatoes, I'll put those in. If I have um, English peas, I'll put those in. Then I'll usually put in some kind of a a legume, either a big white bean, a small white bean, a chickpea, or lentils. And then I also put in a bunch of nuts and seeds. I like walnuts or almonds or um, pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds. I only get the raw nuts and seeds. I don't get the roasted salted ones because that just adds extra fats and extra sodium to your diet. I put a little bit of my dressing on it that I kind of make uh, here at home. It's a lemon tahini dressing with a ton of balsamic vinegar in it. If I have avocado, I always try to put avocado in it. And then for my protein, I'll put in a scoop of my salmon salad. I buy canned salmon. I whip up a little salmon salad that has like pickles in it. I make it with yogurt. It generally has a lot of curry in it, some cumin, um, some seaweed flakes, some sesame seeds. I also have a slice of toast or two. Um, usually I will have a six grain bread. I really like like the multi-grain bread. So again, more seeds, more roughage, more pepitas. And I will do a smear on top of that of either hummus or this awesome um, like cheesy 
spread that I make out of cashews and nutritional yeast. That stuff is so delicious. I don't have any right now, but I did do a video earlier in 2020 on some healthy eating snack ideas, and that was one of them, and I have the recipe in that video. So I'll link that one right up here for you if you want to go over and take a look at those recipes. Any recipes that I mentioned will be on my blog. It's hotandflashy.com. You can go over to the recipes tab and take a look at that. It's like my salad is constructed to be a heart healthy, anti-aging, system healthy salad. Salmon is so good for you. If there's a way for you to increase your intake of fish and vegetables, then absolutely do it. With my lunch, I generally have what I call a cran bub, and it's basically a tall glass that I put an inch and a half of ocean spray juice, cranberry juice, whatever. That stuff is so sugary and I fill the whole thing up with just um, seltzer water and that stuff doesn't have any sugars in it. Um, I have been trying to cut out the sugars in my diet so I used to have uh, dark chocolate peanut M&Ms is my afternoon snack. I don't have that anymore. For my afternoon snack, I generally get hungry around 4, 4.30. I'll have a cup of green tea, and I also have an apple or a handful of raspberries. Sometimes I'll have some yogurt with some granola on it and some blueberries if I'm feeling really hungry. It's so important to get antioxidants into your diet, and the best way to get antioxidants into your skin is to ingest them. So um, drinking a lot of like green tea and eating dark leafy greens is a really good way to get antioxidants into your diet so I love those. So then dinner is really where I get more of the variety into my diet but I'm also limited with the proteins that I'll eat. I've drifted away from pork and beef over the years. I don't buy them anymore ever. So what I eat for dinner will either be fish or poultry or something vegetarian or something vegan. I'll have salmon for dinner a lot. I'll make myself a chicken dish. I've been eating a curry chicken with cauliflower for the last couple of nights. I made a big batch of that on Sunday night and that has lasted me. I think I ate the last of it last night, so I do have to cook tonight. I think tonight I'm gonna to make some clam sauce. Um, I did go to the grocery store yesterday and I did wanna insert kind of just a little a um, bit of video of what I bought at the grocery store yesterday. I tend to go to a few different stores to get everything I need so you won't see much meat or um, protein in here, animal protein, because I tend to get that at a different store, but this is the store I go to for mainly my veggies and fruit and some canned goods and some other dry goods and things. So anyway, the um, veggies that I have, I've got my baby kale, a zucchini, a mini acorn squash, and a bunch of avocados. I usually try to get some that are ready to eat now and some that are super firm. So those will be ready to eat in about a week. Got some Brussels, some lettuce for salads. Oh, these are dog carrots. My dogs eat carrots for lunch every day. Got my Fuji apples. I tend to eat one of those every day with my tea. Got my supply of hummus. I got two different kinds. I like the lemon the best, but I also grabbed the avocado hummus this time just to see how it is. Got my tzatziki, love that. Need that to be making my salmon salad for lunch. Got my yogurt, some toilet paper. Let's see, over here we have a couple of cans of clams. Just like to have those on hand in my pantry if I wanna make a clam sauce. More pantry items. I like to get these small white beans. I like to get some chickpeas, some black beans. This is my lunch salmon. I've been getting this brand lately. I really like this one, the wild caught pink salmon. Um, so that's good. What else? A little jar of garlic. Um, I get some, I usually don't get like rice kits or any kinds of kits. I tend to make everything from scratch. So I just make rice for dinner. I got my pickles. Those go in my salmon salad for lunch. Got my OJ. I'm into oat milk these days. Giving this a try. I really like this one. I find the almond milks are a little like chalky and weird. So I really like the consistency of oat milk. It's not super thick either. Um, oh, I bought this for the puppy. He has those brown stains below his eyes. So I thought I'd try to wash them with that. Um, anyway, some pasta just to, you know, have on hand. Okay, here's my naughty snack is the Cheez-Its. My timeless stuff that just came in from Target. Really happy about that. This is the cereal that I eat every day. This one is my favorite. I mix it up with granola and a bunch of other seeds and nuts. And oh, this is another little um, 
not quite such a naughty snack as the Cheez-Its, but I just love these peanut butter pretzels as a snack, so I like to have those on hand. Then I shop a lot at either Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. They have these really nice bags of frozen salmon or frozen cod, and I just get those and keep them in the freezer. Now that it's like the age of COVID, I used to go out and get fresh fish like a couple times a week, but now I just don't want to be in the store that often. And you know what? If they have like wild caught sockeye salmon in your grocery store, like laying in that big thing, like looking like it was fresh caught, um, it actually was probably previously frozen. So rather than have them defrost it and lay it out there for a day or two before I buy it, I just buy the previously frozen ones. It comes in a big plastic bag. I love those. I keep them in my freezer. This way I can have salmon like for dinner twice a week. I also have cod fillets. I have that once a week. So I've got like fish like three or four times a week. I'll be having clam sauce tonight using canned clams and then one night I might have like tofu. I love to make like a tofu bowl with um, brown rice or with long grain rice and then a vegetable in it. Tonight I'm having clam sauce. All right hey guys now it's time to make dinner so I've got all my little ingredients out right over here. So I'm going to be using this cauliflower uh, linguine tonight so that's adding another vegetable. So here's everything else we'll need. I have some roasted garlic that I'm gonna chop. This is a little bit of Asiago cheese. Got some pine nuts, some small white beans, a couple of cans of clams, and some clam juice. And of course a little white wine hiding in the back. All right so let's go ahead and chop up some garlic. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> It's already roasted, and roasted makes the flavor much milder than putting in raw garlic, so I'm going to use a bit because I like it, and garlic makes all your pasta dishes so much yummier, doesn't it? Right, medium high heat under there. I'm going to throw in a little olive oil, and I'm just going to saute the garlic for a couple of minutes until it's nice and brown. Mm, that garlic smelling so good. Let's go ahead and add some pine nuts. I'm just gonna shake them right out of here. A couple of tablespoons, I'd say. And now that these are nice and brown and the pan's super hot, I'm just gonna throw in a little white wine. All the alcohol burns off. And then scrape up all the little brown bits. I'm going to add a can of small white beans with the sauce. Now that's nice and thick and bubbly. I'm going to add in two cans of clams with the juice. And instead of putting cheese on top of the sauce, I'll just put a little Asiago right in the sauce. That's it, just like a tablespoon. Now I'll let that simmer for about 10 minutes. It'll thicken up a little bit. If I had some fresh parsley or fresh basil, I would put that in there, but I don't have any. Now the water's boiling, so I can go ahead and add the pasta. I haven't made this one before, so I hope it's good. Just want to give this a shake before putting it in because all the clammy goodness is at the bottom. I'm just going to use about half of that. Okay, well, I just read the ingredients on the pasta. I'm not sure I'm 100% convinced about this, but anyway, I thought I'd give them a try. It's a very tan looking meal. You know, those are the kind of things that I will generally eat. Um, during the week and then I don't really deviate much on the weekend You know if if it wasn't COVID and I was going out to lunch or dinner I would try to pick something healthy off the menu but if I'm out with someone who's having fries I'll have a fry or two, you know, that's no problem if I feel like having something, you know Chocolatey, I'll usually go for a dark chocolate usually with nuts in it so that adds up the um, Antioxidant and health factor on it. I do drink alcohol. I'm not a huge drinker mainly 
wine. I'll have a glass of red wine or a glass of white wine, maybe a couple of nights a week. That's about it. You know, but I don't feel deprived if there's something going on where the kids are coming over and we're having pizza. Um, I'm perfectly fine eating pizza. I just try to eat so healthy in my everyday life that on those occasions where you can't do it because somebody else has made food or you're out or you just don't feel like it, you can eat whatever you want and then you can go back to the normal healthy eating and it's not a big problem. So that's pretty much everything that I do. I um, thought I should just mention hormones because I am 58 postmenopausal. I'm on HRT and so I gotta say I've been off of it, I've been on it. It is definitely easier to maintain your weight and to maintain your fitness level when you're on HRT. When you are, you know, just living with lack of estrogen, it's hard. It's hard to maintain your weight. It's hard to develop any muscle mass. It just makes it difficult. It can be done, um, you know, and it all still has to do with diet and exercise. But what I can say is that on HRT or off HRT, the weight still manages to settle where it wants to settle, you know, around the middle. Um, I have put on a couple of pounds over the holidays, which I'm actually not upset about. I wanted to go back up to my face, which of course it didn't. It all settled in here. So if I could just like somehow <laughs> squeegee it up into my face, that would be awesome. Um, but I know I can't and it's there, but you know, hopefully once I get back into my workout groove, I will manage to like chisel away at these little love handles that I've got. But you know, I mean, they're not a huge deal, but they are what they are. You know, I'm 58, what are you gonna do? It just is, it's, it's not only a matter of estrogen, it's also just that you're older. I mean, you look at older men, they can't maintain the kind of muscle mass that they could when they were younger. It's just a part of aging. So anyway, that's what I eat in a day, that's my exercise routine, that's what I do to stay um, fit and healthy as I age and so that's it for today's video everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate your being here. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.